Hello, the little red mice and doll mice. We are starting a new theme. So we're learning about something new this term, and it's about mini beasts. And our theme is called Mad About Mini Beasts. And there is a bit that I'm going to read to you now called Mad About Mini Beasts. I hope you enjoy it. At the bottom of your garden, you might just hear a sound a chirp from the treetops or a scuttle on the ground. If you step a little closer, maybe you can see a ladybird, a dragonfly, a beetle or a bee. In the sun, it's in the sky and it's a lovely summer's day. The mini beasts have seen you and they want to come and play. Snail. We're famous for slithering slowly, but wouldn't you also be slow if you had to carry your home on your back? wherever you wanted to go. Slug. We're sticky and we're slimy and we haven't any bones, so we hang out under flower pots and shelter under stones. Worm. I wiggle and I wiggle down into my hole, and then when I want something scrummy, I munch a few mouthfuls of marvellous mud. Do try some, it's quite yummy. Spider. I love to walk, wake up in the morning when my web is all covered with dew. It's such a fun sight when it glitters so bright. Don't you think it's beautiful too? Fly. My eyes are big and orange, my body's black and fuzzy. And if I fly around your house all day, it's just very buzzy. Beetle. We've got these two feelers on top of our heads which wiggle and help us to see. And we scurry around without making a sound. Can you scurry as quickly as me? Earwig. I like to feed on tasty plants and trees that have gone rotten. But the weirdest thing about me is the pinches on my bottom. Baking set. I'd rather not be eaten, so I've got this brilliant trick. I cling to leaves and branches and pretend that I'm a stick. Ant. We ants like to work as an army, which means that we can do things together. Just watch how we carry these leaves to our nest. We must admit that's pretty clever. Caterpillar. I munch on the leaves in the garden, then I slowly spin my cocoon. But now I must sleep, as I'm going to be a very beautiful butterfly soon. Ladybird. How many spots the ladybird got? Look at my back and you will see. I know that I've got, well, I've got quite a lot. Why don't you count them with me? Centipede. Hello, I'm a centipede. How do you do? I'm as friendly as friendly can be. Now, which of my hands would you like to shake? I've got at least 30, you see. B. There's nothing more brilliant than being a bee. You must think it's a little, sounds a bit funny, but you shout hooray if you lived every day in a full, hive full of heavenly honey. Dragonfly. My wings are like shimmering rainbows. My body's a dazzling green. And all of my animals here in this pond, surely I must be the queen. Grasshopper. We grasshoppers do enjoy jumping, as our legs are incredibly strong. And when we're not jumping, we rub them together to make the most beautiful song. Do you like those mini beasts? What lot? What a lot there are. Flying, crawling, slithering and jumping. Oh, so far. Some live by the river and some live in the air. Some like living underground and finding their food down there. But now let's leave the garden. We can come another time. Which beast was your favourite one? I bet you can't guess mine. I hope you enjoyed the story, Little Bird Mice and Door Mice. And there's a now an activity that you could do where you can have a look at different pictures of mini beasts. And you might be able to think of more mini beasts than we've shown you. And maybe you could describe what you see and talk about what you can see. And then we've got an activity where we'd like you to go and find a rock or a pebble, or even if you've got a wall outside, and see if you can paint your own mini beast. If you don't have your own paint, we have found a special way of making paint from flour, water, and food colouring. We can't wait to see your magical mini beast. And then we'll be able to see which are the most popular mini beasts from the wood mice and the door mice.